Leo running romantically by the sunset, listening to opera. This is day 34. Sleep quality was probably about a five out of 10. I rolled over, hit this wall, felt spiders crawling on me a couple times. It's about eight o'clock in the morning now. The wind is still really strong. If you look at the edge of the screen here, you'll just see how fast the clouds are moving. We were inside this little green shelter right here. There are three outlets which is nice. Luckily water was not blowing in this way. It was dripping down here and got about to like right here during the night. That's where we started to camp yesterday by that building. We're gonna try to go over there and shower right now. Morning shower, haven't had one of these in a while. This is why you bring sandals or Crocs on a bike tour because this floor is disgusting. It's riddled with bacteria and fungus I bet. Morning shower felt amazing. I did notice I'm starting to get this thing called a saddle sore on the inside left of my groin. It's just like a little red dot that's a little bit sore. Hopefully it doesn't grow. I'm going to use some gold bond and some Vaseline. So much for thinking that I was strong enough to not use bike shorts because the bike shorts probably would help with the saddle sore thing. Got new socks at Family Dollar. Our socks are starting to rank. Three what are they? Three bucks? Yep. Three pairs, three bucks? So I'm gonna take a pair, get rid of one of my really stinky pairs. Cotton socks are not the way to go. You wanna go with either polyester or wool. They wash a little bit easier and they don't retain smell as much. About 26 miles into the ride. Stop on the side of the road because there's nothing for a while. No restaurants or nothing and I'm pretty low on calories. We've been doing a lot of corn tortillas. You also do flour tortillas because they pack really small and they're fairly dense. Another staple that everyone asks if you have a staple food for a bike tour or for hiking is a lot of peanut butter because it's dense, it's savory, it's got a lot of protein in it, it's good for you. It doesn't really go bad. Uh, it doesn't have to be refrigerated. We've been making sandwiches. Peanut butter, Leo's been using almond butter, corn tortillas, honey, you throw fruit in there, jam packets from diners, and we use these in the sandwiches to add a little bit more flavor and calories as well. just stopped at Toronto Lake State Park. It was about two miles off of our trail. There is a giant lake and I'm gonna go for a dip. The water's extremely high and dirty right now from all the rains. It's still gonna be really refreshing. It's actually kind of chilly. It's probably like 70 something degrees. Warmer than the river that I jumped in in Missouri. Cleaning my socks, cleaning my boxers, cleaning my shirt. Ugh, totally worth it. <laughs> All right. And he's riding from Joshua Tree to Yorktown, Virginia. Dang, and he's got the burly set up. Got the burly nomad, living the nomad lifestyle. Do it. Don't hesitate, do it. Yeah. People get on a bike. If it's five miles a day, two miles a day, or a hundred, get on a bike and ride it. So we sat there and talked to Garrett for a good 30, 40 minutes, and he gave us a lead on a place to stay in Eureka, an underground Transamerica Trail cycling tourists only word of mouth host of a bed and breakfast that's donation based, but it has a warm shower, a bed, and a good roof. And we'll have a really nice place to sleep and another spa night tonight. Shh, there's another turtle and he's out. We're approaching Eureka, maybe four or five miles out. Gorgeous skies. Leo running romantically by the sunset, listening to opera. So we've made contact with this really nice lady. She's meeting us at a grocery store, and then she's gonna take us to her place, and we're gonna crash there tonight. I absolutely love these little old towns. The downtown areas are so old and historic. I love the architecture. Love the buildings. We're gonna do some pasta, green peppers, some dinner roll, we're getting garlic, some chicken, a little bit of ginger, turmeric, cookies. Oh yeah. We just met Robin in the grocery store. Uh oh. Hey, Robin's not fresh. She was like doing the dog. It's okay. I put signs. 
lines on a lot, you know, pretty much everything, so everything's fairly easy. Okay. You don't have to read it all right. Yes. <laughs> Most of it that was all because of. Oops. But anyway, um, oh yeah, the groceries. <laughs> Sizzling chicken, whole grain pasta. <laughs> no, we usually sleep on the floor or in the grass, so. <laughs> Lemon pepper chicken with whole grain pasta, and cultured buttermilk. And Leo made salad with avocado, lettuce, tomato. Road 71 miles today. We are in Eureka, Kansas. Uh, the weather was fantastic today. Beautiful sunset. Saw some turtles, went to the lake, met Garrett, another cyclist. He gave us the card and a uh, hot tip on this cyclist. Hostel hosted by Robin, which has a fridge and cabinets full of food. She's super nice, very positive spirit, and she helps cyclists home away from home. So I don't think we're sleeping in the bed because we don't want to put more work on her for changing the sheets and whatnot. So we're just gonna sleep on the floor. Believe it or not, it's about midnight, bedtime. If you are enjoying this content, don't forget to give us thumbs up or prayers, good motivations. And if you have any questions about the bike tour, put it in the comments and I'll answer it as soon as possible. I'll talk to you guys in the morning. Ugh, Leo got a friend. Not doing well. Hey, I think he messed up the hoop over